Welcome to our weekly updates from Little Baby Bum, a mom and baby health center in BTM Layout, Bangalore. Here our eminent doctors give you tips on topical issues every week. Hello again. I'm very excited to uh, be talking to Dr. Nirmala, uh, eminent uh, gynecologist and obstetrician uh, with uh, 20 plus years of experience. She has got 15 years of infertility experience and is a knowledge expert in this field of procedation. Uh, Dr. Nirmala, uh, the question today that we want to talk about is, uh, you know, when people come in with obviously uh, PCOD, uh, you know, uh, how do you help them conceive? You know, what do you do? Yeah. Uh, see, um, the treatment for PCO again depends on, first of all, the category of patients who come to us. They could be a, a young girl, adolescent girl, looking for only correction of her menses. So mm -hmm. the treatment is in a different line. There could be somebody walking in for infertility. There could be somebody presenting with problems of excess bleeding and pain, etc. Mm -hmm. in the postmenopausal, perimenopausal mm -hmm. women with PCO. Mm -hmm. So that line of treatment is entirely different. Well, well, somebody in the reproductive lifespan, mm -hmm. you know, the, the reproductive years, mm -hmm. who's looking for a child. First of all, what we need to look into her is is she obese? Mm -hmm. We have to estimate what's her BMI. Mm -hmm. And if she's on the obese side, we need to simply tell her that you have to shed that kilos. Mm -hmm. Unless the weight reduction is brought down, particularly a focused weight loss program, mm -hmm. which involves loss of weight from the abdomen as well as the buttocks. Mm -hmm. you know, as I told you in, in the earlier session, that uh, there is an increase in fat deposition in central obesity, what mm -hmm. we call. Mm -hmm. So it is this fact that we need to focus. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes they say walking, I'm doing walking, I'm doing dieting. You know, there is a specific diet. You have to cut down on calories, mm -hmm. particularly the carbohydrate diet. So we have a schedule of dieting for them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, exercises which focus on the abdominal area. Mm -hmm. okay? Because it is that fat which mm -hmm. is the culprit. Mm -hmm. It is that fat which increases the insulin resistance mm -hmm. and hence increases the secretion of male hormones in these patients. Mm -hmm. So it has to be like that. Mm -hmm. And the second subject is, we look into the periods, whether the cycles are regular or irregular, what is your hormonal status, if it is highly abnormal, mm -hmm. we tend to prescribe them a tablet anti-diabetic medication mm -hmm. called metformin. Mm -hmm. And that uh, reduces the male hormone levels mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. That's the first step, what we mm -hmm. call as a pre-treatment. Mm -hmm. Subsequent to that, we start administering ovulation-inducing drugs. Mm -hmm. They are the medications in the form of tablets or in the form of injections, mm -hmm. which increases the growth, maturity and release of the egg from the mm -hmm. uh, ovaries mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. and then we move ahead because these medications are something which you cannot keep on taking it for your life mm -hmm. see uh, when you try on your own you have a lifetime probability of achieving a pregnancy mm -hmm. but with these kind of medications you have a restriction you can't mm -hmm. keep on giving them mm -hmm. so naturally we tend to become a little more aggressive in them mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so since you have a limitation on giving these medications for a longer period of mm -hmm. time so we give them a couple of trial cycles, we give them the medications, monitor them carefully whether mm -hmm. there is an egg that is growing by an ultrasound mm -hmm. and then we time up their sexual activities mm -hmm. because that's a crucial thing, timing of sexual activity when exactly the egg releases is very very essential for one to conceive. Mm -hmm. That is something which misses the uh, uh, notice of many of the couples mm -hmm. who are trying okay. and because the egg once it is released into the fallopian tube mm -hmm. remains alive remains in a fertilizable state mm -hmm. for only about 24 hours so okay. that becomes a very critical time which is available mm -hmm. so we help them in uh, timing up the uh, uh, i mean the uh, time of sexual activity okay and then we move ahead if the, these techniques don't work we go on to the next step where we try to give them medications and we go and process the sperm sample of the husband try to do what we call as an IUI. Mm -hmm. So that is done a couple of cycles, okay. two or three cycles, before we move on to the last and the last resort, which is the test tube baby cycle. I see. So these are the various modalities. Mm -hmm. So primarily, I would like to stress that a, a weight, uh, when I talk about the weight loss, uh, somebody need not lose weight to look like a model, mm -hmm. because that puts them into a little scare and they run away. Okay, mm -hmm. the doctor asked me to lose weight so much weight. No, even 5 to 10% of the excess weight, even mm -hmm. if they try to shed, the ovaries will start getting back into its regular size. I see. Okay. It really benefits them. So, weight loss program with the diet, with, the, with all your exercises, lifestyle modification, with the medication, one could easily conceive. I understand. I have a doctor extremely insightful. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you so much. Thank you.
You are listening to our weekly video cast from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby center in BTM Layout Second Stage, Bangalore. To find out more, please visit lilbabybump.com or facebook.com/littlebabybump. Thank you very much for listening.